the, the, the paradox here for me and Paul, I don't know if that you noticed this too, like we're always taught like, okay, if you start an ACE or an ARB and their creatinine bumps more than 30%, they might have bilateral renal artery stenosis. Yeah. And I always thought the answer would be, okay, then you, they should not be on an ACE or an ARB, but it sounds like the medical therapy is still, you, you still have to treat them, try to treat them medically. Is that, how do you, how do we reconcile those things? <laughs> Cause I would be like, uh oh, creatinine went way up. I got to stop. Yeah, the, I've seen the some of the people, I've seen at least a couple of cases where they just have profound, you, you start a little bit of lisinopril, 10 milligrams, and they go into renal failure. Even require, I've seen a couple of people require dialysis from it. I've got, mm. uh, the, one of the first patients I found with it um, was on dialysis for a month, and I I met him when he was kind of recovering and actually came off of dialysis. And I worked, I, was, I said, okay, this is clearly suspicious for bilateral stenosis. And when I did the MRI, I think we did, they called me the next day and said, not only does he have bilateral stenosis, it's because he has a type A aortic dissection, which has probably been there for months. So you, that's just an anecdote, but you, you should evaluate those patients. So the question is, like, if you have... If you have, uh, if you put someone on a uh, ACE or an ARB and their creatinine bumps, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what do we do? Do you keep going or did you, you do the evaluation? You're like, okay, they have, you do a, let's say you do an ultrasound or you do a CTA or MRA, you prove that they have bilateral stenosis and then you're like, okay, so they have it. I know why their creatinine bumped. I'm going to keep going with that, with that blockade or. Yeah. So if it's a unilateral stenosis, uh, I always try to treat medically and. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit of a creatinine bump, is, um, I'm going to push through, especially if you're going from severe hypertension to controlled, you expect a little bit of a rise in creatinine there. And so I'm personally tolerating that. I, I understand that people get really kind of nervous about that. If they have bilateral stenosis and, and you know, they've got a severe increase, uh, like I described, it, it really doesn't matter if it's an ACE or an ARB, it's anything you throw at them to, to control blood pressure is going to worsen it. their creatinine. So non-specific vasodilator therapy is if that is worsening renal function, when you control blood pressure, that's a huge red flag for bilateral stenosis and somebody that needs an intervention. 